Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the video. Now, if you guys are a fan of seeing absolutely disgusting vehicles get cleaned up to look new again, well, I have got a treat for you today as the 2005 Hyundai Tucson sitting behind me is a complete disaster. All right, so just before I show you what's waiting on the inside, we'll have a quick look at the exterior and not surprisingly, it's a bit of a mess too as the entire vehicle is covered in dirt. The wheels and tires are filthy and then up on the front end, the headlights are super hazy and need to be polished. But turning to the interior now, and the moment I opened the door, I nearly fell over as the smell in here is absolutely putrid. Although looking around, it's not hard to see why as there's moldy food and cigarette ash everywhere, along with some truly disgusting things hiding under the seats and some of the grossest floor mats that I've ever seen. But just before we dive into this mess, take a second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss out on a future video and consider becoming a channel member too for exclusive behind the scenes and sneak peeks of new videos. All right, well, I've got quite the challenge ahead of me to get this Tucson looking good again. So as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy the transformation. All right, so just before I get started here, I'm going ahead and running my ozone machine to try to knock down some of the smoke and moldy food smell in here. And then while I work on the exterior for a few hours, the ozone will have time to dissipate and starting on the pre-wash rinse here. And as you know, this is a critical step as I need to get as much dirt as possible off the vehicle so I can avoid instilling any scratches or swirl marks in the paint during the wash stage later on. starting on the back now and I figured I'd give you a little background on the vehicle. So besides having about 210,000 kilometers on it or roughly 130,000 miles, the owner was telling me when she dropped it off that she had actually taken it to another detailer last year who quote, didn't do a very good job. And honestly, judging by the state of the interior, I'd have to agree. So fortunately she brought it to me. And as you guys know, I'll do everything I can to get it looking perfect. Moving to the front wheel now and anytime there's an open wheel design like this, I'll always get in nice and close with the pressure washer and hit the barrel from different angles to make sure I can get them as clean as possible.
Now for these door jams, the pressure washer is the quickest way to get them cleaned out. And for those of you out there who might be leery of doing this, I can assure you that it is possible to keep the interior dry if you spray at a steep angle and just control the wand. I was skeptical the first time I did it too, but as you can see, there isn't a drop that goes inside the car. Alright, so with the car dried now, I'll start on these disgusting floor mats and these are right up there with some of the dirtiest that I've ever seen as they are completely stuffed full of dirt and not only did it take about 5 solid minutes of pressure washing to get each of them clean, the moment I started spraying them it unleashed the overwhelming stench of cigarette smoke into my garage, so luckily it was warm enough outside that I could open up the garage doors for ventilation. But once I finished the first mat, I went and grabbed my respirator, which you'll see me wearing for the rest of the detail, as the interior of the vehicle smelled just as bad. Moving to the driver's side mat now and because I know there have been lots of people who want to see real-time videos with just the natural sounds, 
Well, I posted one of those earlier this week over on the second channel. So if you're interested in that sort of video, head over there to check that out as you get to see the rest of the floor mats from this vehicle cleaned and they are just as bad, if not worse than these ones. All right, now it's finally time to start on the massive job that this interior is going to be. So I'll quickly get the front and second row seats and some of the trim removed as it will be far easier to clean everything outside of the vehicle. And if you're curious, I always disconnect the battery before doing this so I don't run into any issues with the airbags or the vehicle throwing a code. And taking a look at the total carnage that's remaining in here, and I know I've got quite a bit of work ahead of me, but the best way to attack this is with a step-by-step -step plan with the first of those being to get rid of all the larger garbage and personal items. And honestly, it never ceases to amaze me at what I find in some of these vehicles. Now working my way around with the vacuum and for the first time the vast majority of the hair stuck in these carpets is actually human hair and not from a dog so of course the lily brush is still my go-to here as it can easily pull any kind of hair out of the carpets even longer human hair so if any of you out there shed a lot or maybe your dog does too i've got the lily brush available on my website at detailgeekautocare.com where worldwide shipping is available
Now for any of you out there wondering about the quality of carpet in this Hyundai Tucson, well, I'm happy to report that it's actually pretty good and even has a really thick under padding as well. So that makes getting it vacuumed and extracted later on a lot easier. And that's not to say that this is a higher quality vehicle or anything. It's likely just because 15 years ago when this vehicle was made, manufacturers weren't quite cheaping out on materials the way that they do now. Okay, so it's finally time to tackle these dirty and stained seats. So I'll quickly get some carpet solution sprayed on and will then agitate with my Detail Geek medium green drill brush as just looking at these seats and carpet, I know I'm going to need the stiffer brush today. And as I make the first few passes with the Bissell, it's great to see nearly everything coming out of them. Although for any lingering spots, I'll either repeat the process or hit them with the steamer later on. Now, because I've seen quite a few comments recently asking if I clean the seat backs as well, well, I figured I'd include this section here for you and obviously the answer is yes, I always clean every inch of the vehicle. It's just that I can't film everything I do as the videos would be far too long, so I have to pick and choose my spots.
Now, because this seat wasn't quite looking perfect yet and I could still see some faint stains, I'm going to repeat the entire process. And this isn't unusual as you've seen me do this lots of times before. It just depends on the type of fabric in the vehicle as well as the stain, but usually hitting it twice gets everything loosened up and looking new again. Now moving to the back here and I figured I would give you a detailed explanation of my extracting process I follow as I always see people asking about it in the comments. So after getting some Chemical Guys Lightning Fast Solution diluted about 20 to 1 sprayed on, I'll agitate with my Detail Geek drill brush and then get to work with the Bissell, continually spraying water at the same time. And as I do this I always watch the color of water coming through and once I see it's coming through clear then I'll switch to just extracting to get it as dry as I can. And to answer another question I see all the time, I only use hot water in the extractor as I pre-treat with solution. If there was solution in the Bissell, I would continually be adding more as I work, and that really wouldn't make any sense to me. So the way I do it, I can be sure that I can get all the solution back out. Here's the two entire buckets full of incredibly nasty and smelly water pulled from the Tucson. Gross. All right, now turning my attention to the trim where there's either spilled drinks or something gross in the storage compartments and even some gum on the door here too. And using the steamer with the brush attachment is the best way to tackle that as the hot steam is able to quickly loosen up the crud or grime or in this case, it can basically melt the gum away and then I'll just simply wipe things down with a microfiber towel.
Now for the trim pieces I removed earlier, I'm going to first spray on some APC diluted about four to one as the crud on here is clearly really stuck on, but thankfully the steamer can still make really quick work of this. So for anyone who might be in the market for one of the most versatile cleaning tools out there, I've got the link to the steamer I use down in the description for you, along with nearly every other product and tool that I use. So feel free to check those out. Now, not something I always show, but typically in vehicles this dirty, the seat rails are absolutely disgusting too. So blasting them clean with some high velocity steam is definitely the easiest way to do it. Although you can definitely achieve the same results with some APC and a detail brush. It's just going to take a fair bit longer. With everything clean now, I'll get to work dressing and UV protecting the interior trim. And for that, I use 303's Aerospace Protectant, which should last for about four to six weeks. All right, now that we've got the interior finished, it's time to turn our attention to the paint and start the decontamination process. And for that, I'm using Pinnacle Ultra Poly Clay and a quick detailer acting as lubricant to ensure that all the surface bonded contaminants like tar, tree sap, or other road grime are removed from the paint. And then once this is done, the paint will be perfectly clean and ready for a sealant.
Okay, now even though the customer didn't opt for this, I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to remove the haze from headlights. So using a microfiber cutting pad and some Griot's Garage correcting cream, I'll make several passes over the whole headlight before wiping off the residue. And then usually with headlights, I need to repeat the process one more time to get them looking new again. Second last step here is to clean the glass and for that I'm using my Detail Geek Waffle Weave Towel which I should have available on my website very soon. So if streak free glass sounds good to you, well consider picking up a set when they're available in just a few weeks. Okay guys, well that was an incredible transformation. It took 13 hours to get the Tucson super clean and looking fresh. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, consider becoming a member for exclusive sneak peeks and behind the scenes stuff, enjoy the guitar outro, and I'll see you guys in the next one.